buffs and nerfs to Ari, Graves, Urgot, Swain, and Darius in this episode of the Patch Preview. Welcome to the League of Legends Patch Preview. I'm Freak and I'm here with Morello, lead champion designer. Together we'll be discussing some changes coming into the Draven Patch. I'll introduce the topics and Morello will give you the rationale behind the changes. Ari is an almost guaranteed pick or ban in competitive play. She gets to deal tons of damage despite building pretty tanky, so we're lowering the base damages on Foxfire and Spirit Rush, but compensating with increased AP ratios. What are we hoping this does for Ari? Ari really fits the role of kind of a ranged mage assassin, and as such, she should be building really high damage, low survivability to get the job done. Ari's ultimate has a ton of mobility built in, and this is how she should be getting around the battlefield and surviving teamfights. So if Ari's building more tanky items, you will see her damage go down, and this is the build that the pros have been using to dominate with her. However, if you are building that more offensive-oriented build, say with a death cap, you will be rewarded for that build choice. In addition to his short-range burst power, Graves currently brings too much damage and utility at range. To fix this, we're lowering the base damage on Buckshot, but compensating with increased damage on multiple hits, while reducing the duration on Smokescreen by one second. Why will this help balance out Graves? The interesting thing Graves is supposed to bring to the table is that short-range, in-your-face shotgun blast that does a lot of damage. The problem with this is right now, he doesn't have to take that risk at all. He can just sit back and still continue to outperform other range carries. Now playing Graves from a more sit-back and be safe standpoint is going to be weaker, but if you take risks and get in people's face, you're going to be rewarded for it. Simply put, Smokescreen was shutting off an area of combat for too long, so we reduced the duration by a second, bringing it much more in line. Urgot is currently able to dominate other champions early game with his bullying power and innate tankiness, making him overpowered in lane. In order to solve this, we're lowering the base values on his shield and the bonus resistances on his ultimate. Why do we choose these nerfs for Urgot? Urgot's combination of high range and high defenses means that a lot of champions didn't have any counterplay options against him at all. We want champions to make interesting choices, and Urgot walking up and being able to duel pretty much anybody because of his inherent defense isn't a very interesting choice. It's also not very fun for his opponents to just die because of that either. All the things that make Urgot special are intact. The long-range lock-on gameplay, swapping enemies into position, all those things make him fun and we want to keep those there. Swain is a pretty overlooked mage champion, and it seems to be because he just doesn't quite have the same tools as other mages. Next patch, Swain is getting increased range on his basic attacks, increased range and slow on Decrepify, and a lower cooldown on his ultimate. How do we think these buffs will help Swain? Looking at all of our mages, we saw a real opportunity to go ahead and make Swain feel a lot better. The range increase is really a way for us to bring him up in line with other mages and put him on equal footing. Frankly, the slow on rank 5 Decrepify was really underwhelming. Increasing this allows Swain to feel a lot better about using his slow, especially later game when it needs to be more effective. Swain's ultimate is integral to the whole way he plays and flows, and he needs to be able to get back into that state more quickly after turning it off. Darius has two issues we're looking to solve in this patch. His best case scenario against other melee champions makes him incredibly overbearing, and the cooldown refresh on his ultimate is just happening too often. In the Draven update, his AD ratio on Hemorrhage is going down, and the grace period on Noxian Guillotine is being removed. It will now only refresh if it deals the killing blow. Why did we pick these changes? We lowered the AD ratio on Hemorrhage because he was simply too much of a bully in lane. Noxian Guillotine is really there to allow you to pick up those Quadra or Pentakills in about every 30 or 35 games by design, but with the grace period, people were doing it much more often and frequently, causing it to be much more frustrating. By removing the grace period, Darius now needs to have better timing and be more skilled to pick up those multi-kills. Ultimately, these changes are designed to make Darius less frustrating to play against, but we're going to continue to keep an eye on his balance as we go forward. Thanks for tuning in to the League of Legends Patch Preview. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above and let us know what you think in the comments just below the video.